Good morning. Uh, it's 6.13 a.m. on Sunday, May 3rd, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. It's another one of those days where I'm going to go right back to bed after this. I got a new desktop wallpaper image. I found a pretty cool picture of the moon. It's a 3,000 by 4,000 pixel resolution image of, as previously mentioned, the moon. Um, it's a, kind of a 7th, 7th, 8th, 7 8 full picture where you can, you know, you don't care. I can uh, tweet the ac retweet the actual image. Um, I set it as my wallpaper because I typically always do space images. Um, my most recent one before this was a picture taken from the space station of Earth. The one before that was a picture of Enceladus, Saturn's moon. Well, suddenly I'm second guessing myself whether it's Saturn's moon or Jupiter's moon. I'm pretty sure it's Saturn. But now it's early and I can't think. Who cares? Um, or, I mean, it matters, but not for this video. Um, one of the things that it had me thinking about looking at this picture of the moon is something I've wondered before. I have asked it on Twitter, but, you know, I still think about. And that is the idea that if Earth didn't have a moon, would we still have the space program that we have today? Obviously, we wouldn't have gone to the moon, but would we still have all our space station and satellites and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't know if we would or not. The very We, we might still have some of the probes that go elsewhere, but would we have ever uh, sent people out if there wasn't such an obvious thing nearby? I mean, because the moon, and it's barking at the moon, or at least when I say, the moon, <laughs> I don't know if you guys actually heard that, but she did it again. <laughs> Are you barking at the moon, Luna? I didn't say it. Um... The thing about the moon being as close as it is, even though obviously it's still very far away in human scale, but we can look up into the sky and see it there, and it looks like a place. It looks like a thing that you could theoretically go to. Um, whereas even the other planets like Mars and Jupiter you know, those, uh, you know, Mars and Venus and, you know, the other planets, duh. You can see them. And if you have a telescope, you can see that it's more than just a speck of light. But there's still a big gap in terms of feeling within reach. Obviously, that's for a very good reason. Those things are much, much further away than the moon. I don't know if we would have the same kind of space program if there wasn't that obvious first step there. Because, you know, just the idea of doing something very difficult without an obvious step tangible, visible first step goal, I don't know if we would. Would we still have satellites and the cell phones and, and uh, you know, what else would be different if the world didn't have the moon? You know, obviously there's lots of poetry and uh, uh, songs about the moon uh, the, the whole notion of people going kind of crazy on the full moon. Uh, there's uh, lots of, uh, moon imagery in our language. 
But what else, what else would be different? Well, we wouldn't have the same level of tides that we do. Who knows? Who knows? Lots of things would probably be different if we didn't have the moon. So I'm going to go on the record right now as pro-moon. There, I've said it. All right, so uh, remember, you can find all of the stuff that I do at ChristianaEllis.com. Mike and I are planning to record Talking About Survivor on Monday night this week. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, who are Survivor fans will tune in to that. And in the meantime, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>